little guys. Little guys are crayon all the way. They're going to start with crayon. That's they don't have the pencil. Um, they're going to start with their um, get their once they get their drawing on there. Their good crayon solid line mounted to the background. They have them mounted this way. You can mount it like this. You can put it in the middle. However you want it. The bigger kids they can put it like it's it's an odd. I don't know why they chose 12 by 12 with this size background, but however you want to put it on there. If you want to have it right in the middle, they can have it right in the middle. If you want to do you know, like sideways corner and word, use words here, or like this one is, this is the, like middle with the words on half and half. Any way they want to do it, they're the designer. Just have them think poster, advertising poster. And if they have posters hanging up in their room, that might give them an idea too. So that's basically what you're gonna do. Once you have your pencil drawn, your crayon drawn, you're gonna glue it onto your background and then you can paint away. And you can paint a little or a lot. Just make sure they keep it really light. Light colors, light wash. And that's all you need to do. So anybody have any more questions for me? What can I help you with? It's pretty much like kind of do your own thing. But the little kids, again, and they do come with the instructions for them. Super simple. It shows exactly step by step the little face that we just went through. So you can do it just like that with them. And once you do it a couple of times, it's a piece of cake. It's very, very easy. And you might even draw it out for yourself, do it in pencil, and then just go over it with crayon in front of the kids so they can see you do it easier. Like it's easier for me to do it that way than to talk and do it. They come out pretty funny if I do it that way. But the shape of their head, what type of hat, what kind of hair, it's all up to them. An easy way to make curly hair, sixes, eights, and twos. And that's usually what I tell the little kids and they love that idea, that works perfectly. And the eyes can be as, you know, as, as funny as you want. Eyebrows, no eyebrows, eyelashes, um, like this one has her eyes a little bit half open. He's got beady eyes, he's got his clothes. You can add a big mustachio, to whatever you'd like to put. Whatever you think might be like an old funny looking French poster. Adding words from the back without worrying about the face. For the middle sized kids, that's important too. So it gets glued on to the background and then you fill it in with your color. And that's basically what you're gonna do. So it's not too difficult. Remember the words the, add a lot to the um, upper grades too. They add, the middle grade, we don't usually add the words. The upper grade with the biggest one, they can add the words. Uh -huh. I was gonna say, remember for those that walked in late, you do have your instruction sheets. We'll have extras in there in case you forget them for that day. Mm -hmm. But you can use your instruction sheets. You might wanna take those home, look them over. It gives you a lot of ideas, give you, gives you a lot of word discussion. What's going to happen today is after you guys do this training, um, in another hour or so, the kids will be coming in and they will get a lower grade and an upper grade training on this artist. And so they will see all these pictures, they'll get a little history, they'll have the background. And so you guys are going to be in there prompting them, going over, showing how to make one of these first. And then you'll have everyone sit down and you'll do each step by step together. And then you'll let them finish the creativity of the color and all that on their own, um, you know, uh, for the remainder of the project. But you have a lot of ideas in here. And remember the last two pages talk about um, doing certain lines. So you might want to do a little warm up with them, okay. have them try those different lines, curlies, line straight, you know, broad strokes, um, you know, zigzags, all those kind of things. So they can kind of practice and get a different idea. You might want to talk about the different hats or what a, body, a person's body would look like in, those, in the pictures that they remember from the assembly. So these are all discussions that you can have for the first five or 10 minutes. And then you can go over all of the supplies that they have and, and run the whole exercise. So, And they've got vocabulary words written down too that you might want to like reinforce right. for the kids that kind of helps them so they know what, what they're talking about. Different like a gouache concepts, would yeah. be like really watered down watercolor paint and we use tempera but we water it down a lot. And um, that's why they're kind of grayish looking. And everyone's kids examples like today you'll leave with us so we'll have all these to post up in your classroom when you're doing your instruction, okay? Everyone will leave their sample today and you guys can post those up around to inspire the kids. Okay. And just to Easier and everything on your tables too, the white ones in the clear sheets, those will also be in the drawers so um, you guys can pull those out and tape them around your room too. Just remember to return them um, back to our drawers so we can use them for the next classroom. And it helps to do that first.